Hello guys, if you've stayed on with this video, so this is part three of the uh, Strikers under the GSB regime. And today it's a pleasure to start with this man, Colton. Colton Cole. Um, so Colton, 56 appearances, nine goals. It's not a lot of goals, um, but no one can deny um, how much he did himself to the West Ham fans. You know, Paul sees, you know, he's one of those, he's one of those guys, you know, played with a smile on his face, gave us so much, um, wanted so much to succeed for West Ham. Um, scored on his debut, I remember that. He scored an absolute cracker against Tottenham as well. Um, not a lot of goals. For what he's done for the club and what he does for the fans, you know, and he still works at the club now, I believe. I've got to say, Colton, it's my, it's my love. You know, he will go down for me as a success, even though he didn't score a lot of goals. And, I, and I'd like to know what your guys' opinions are on that. For me, I think I've got a lot of love for Colton. Um and, you know, he, he scored in that playoff final as well. He scored the first goal, didn't he? Um, scenes, you know, absolute scenes when that goal went in. Um, yeah, so for me, Colton would always go down as a, a cult hero for me. Uh, next on the list, guys, is Jamal Gordon. Um, zero appearances, zero goals. Again, I don't like judging the youth players too harshly. Um, signed in 2013, you know, he's, he's, he's quite old now. Um, he was an unused sub in that famous 5 0 defeat, Nottingham Forest. Um, not a lot, a lot on him in terms of his West Ham career. So, I, I, like I said, I don't, don't want to go too much in on him. Um, no, he didn't get a lot of time. Not on a chance. Next one, um, Marco Barello. I think that's how you pronounce it. Appearances and common theme in the strikers, zero goals. Um, yeah, um, signed in 2014, uh, January, uh, for on a loan for 700 grand. He had only two appearances before he got a calf injury um, and then just didn't play again. So you've got to say again, failure. Um, next one, for me, I liked him. I like this guy, um, Zarate. 29 appearances, seven goals. Got some good goals as well. I liked him. Bit greedy. Um, signed in 2014. Uh, Three-year contract. Um, scored you know, as Crystal Palace. 20-yard volley. I was at that game away. Um, the Europa League games. Um, scored 2-2 game against Astra Gugu. She lost 4-3, as we all know. Um, scored against Arsenal in that famous win in the last season at Upton Park. Um, he did okay for us, you know. He went out on loan to QPR. I think you know Allardyce didn't fancy him, but then Slav brought him back in. Um, I liked him. I did. I did like him. Um, like I say, could be frustrating, could be wasteful. But I don't know. I wouldn't again with with my run, I wouldn't say he was a striker either. I would say he was more of a attacking midfielder. Next one, um, let's start with these two. It's amazing, you know, the next two players I'm going to be talking about is Valencia and obviously partner at the time. And Valencia, 72 appearances, 10 goals. He's got an absolute cracker against Hull, didn't he? Um, he's got a really good free kick. I think it was against Bournemouth. He's good. He's got two free kicks in that game. Um, frustrating. Um he came with a reputation of being like this really good, quick shooter from range, which he did score a good goal from range, and he scored a good header. I remember he scored a really good header against someone, but I can't remember who that game was. A really good telepathic partnership with Sacco. And maybe if that partnership would have been able to continue, who knows what we would have done that year. The two seemed fantastic together. We looked like we could anyone then as well, and those two were up front. Um I liked him, but I would say towards the end of his West Ham career, he was one of the most frustrating players 
to watch. He seemed lightweight. Um, he lacked quality towards the end. Um, so, yeah, this guy. Controversial figure. Very controversial. What a record. 24 goals in 71 appearances. This is one you've got to say, apart in, you know, attitude, whatever you think of that. This guy was a success um, in terms of if we're just going on appearances and, and stats, you know. Uh, signed in 2014, um, he's joining. He said, this is a proud day for me to sign for West Ham. I'll be loving this football and determined to play. Um, I believe he won player of the month as well. Scored seven goals, didn't he, in that early stage. Um, and he did score in that last ever game at Upton Park as well. Um, as I said about the last guy, Anna Valencia, those two had a fantastic partnership. He signed Andy Carroll. The two of them just, you know, they, the dice refused to pay both of them. Nolan and Carroll came back in. And um, unfortunately for Diafro, I think his frustration got the better of him. And um, I think, you know, he just didn't fancy it in the end. Um, it's a shame. I think there was a good player in there and a natural goal scorer in him. Next one uh, on today's list is Nene. Um appearances with zero goals again the common theme there was a free agent when he signed um, made his debut uh, against crystal palace went on as a sub um for alex song end of the season he was released another um, signing another Alden's uh david sullivan uh next on the list uh nikita jelovic guy that we was linked with originally before he went to everton um, I wanted him then. Wasn't keen we signed him a second time. Two goals in fourteen the appearances. Uh, I think one of them was in the FA Cup against Wolves. Um, yeah, again, at the time, too old, too slow. Uh, we signed him at the wrong time. We should have signed him when Everton got him originally, when he was really good for Everton. Um, again, you've got to say, flop, really, haven't you? Have um by Nikita. Um next on the list guys um is the last one for today. Oh no, there's one more after this. Um Emaneki. Um Manuel Emaneki and his stats read like this. 16 appearances, two goals. Um I remember him scoring um race in the FA Cup, four hundred step overs. Um Looked okay, but then again, was exposed for not being that great. Um, again, it, it was another one of those punt signings I think they went for. Um, yeah, just he only scored a few goals and just wasn't that great. Like, he really wasn't. Um, last one for today. Tony Martinez, you know, massive hype. He was in the youth team. Did get three appearances for the first team eventually. Um, you know, I thought there might have been someone there. You know, fantastic. He scored twelve goals in eleven games for the youth team, but very few chances. When he did play, looked a bit lightweight. Went on to have a half decent career at Porto with now Felipe Anderson playing with him as well. Um, it's a shame. Another one of them youth players, you know, just you know, wasn't given a, a full crack. And maybe when he was, you know, when he was scoring the 12 and 11, maybe that's when he should have got his chance. Because, you know, when you're a striker, you're hot. And I think you can score at any game. I think it's all about confidence, you know. Um, yeah, it wasn't to be for him. And that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, I'm trying to keep them short and sweet. I don't want to go on too long because, you know, you can talk forever and ever about strikers short and sweet and just telling you what I think of failures and what what successes and how many lack of goals we've had, you know, over that time. There's one more video, guys, and that'll be out tomorrow. That'll be video four. Until then, guys, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Until then, let's go.